Hi, my name is Mrs Walters and over the course of this video we're going to be giving you a bit more information about studying GCSE Religious Studies at David Nieper Academy. So during this video, myself and Mrs Worthy will be explaining a bit more about the course, the structure, the exams and what kind of careers you can look at if you study GCSE RS. Hopefully, having watched this video, you'll be in a position to decide whether you would like to come and study GCSE RS with us. So a really important question for you to think about is, is GCSE Religious Studies the right GCSE choice for me? Our GCSE covers a range of the principal world religions. So we're not just focusing on Christianity. We look at um, the other five major world religions and we look at um, other religious belief and non-religious belief as well. And alongside the study of religion, we also uh, study contemporary philosophical and ethical themes. And what that means is that you get a really vibrant, diverse choice of intriguing subjects to explore if you choose this GCSE. So by studying the GCSE, you will be challenged with questions about belief, values, meaning, purpose and truth, enabling you to develop your own attitudes towards religious issues. You'll gain an appreciation of how religion, philosophy and ethics form the basis of our culture. And you will also develop analytical and critical thinking skills and the ability to work with abstract ideas. For GCSE RS, we follow the AQA specification A for the GCSE. And that means that uh, our work is uh, preparing us to sit two exam papers at the end of year 11. Paper one, which is the study of religion, where we look at two religions and we've chosen Christianity and Islam as the two religions that we study in depth. And for each of those two religions, we look at the beliefs and teachings of that religion and also the practices of that religion. And I'll talk a little bit more later in the video about the sorts of topics that that includes. Paper one um, is assessed at the end of year 11 with a written exam that lasts uh, one hour, 45 minutes. And paper one is 50% of your GCSE grade. Paper two is called thematic studies and um, there are six topics that we can choose from. Uh, we are expected to study four and these themes are of uh, religious, philosophical and ethical nature. So we have chosen theme A, which is about relationships and families, theme D, peace and conflict, theme E, crime and punishment, theme F, human rights and social justice. And again, later on in the video, I'll talk a little bit more about what those topics involve. Paper two is also assessed at the end of year 11 with a written exam that lasts an hour and 45 minutes, and that makes up the other 50% of the GCSE. So when we are looking at our component one, the study of religion, we're going to study Christianity and uh, Islam. And um, this is broken up into two sections, beliefs and teachings for the first section and then practices for the second section. So when we're looking at Christianity, for example, when we are looking at the beliefs section, we'll be looking at things such as um, beliefs about God, the incarnation, um, crucifixion, um, resurrection of Jesus, the afterlife and the role that Jesus plays in salvation. When it comes to Christian practices, we will look at Christian worship, the celebration of festivals such as Easter and the role of the church in the local and global community. For Islam, when we are looking at um, Muslim beliefs and teachings, we will be looking at what Muslims believe about God, 
prophets and angels. And when we look at the practices uh, section of the study of religion, we'll be looking at the five pillars of Islam, festivals such as the festival of uh, Ashura and the concept of Jihad. For component two, which is those religious, philosophical and ethical uh, thematic studies, you'll see on the screen now that I've um, listed the four themes that we study here at David Nieper Academy. So theme A um, looks at relationships and families. So this theme covers issues like marriage and divorce. So we look at issues surrounding um, sexual identity, polygamy and sex outside of marriage. So um, we'll be looking at key questions such as um, why does gender discrimination um, exist? Theme D, peace and conflict. So in this theme, we look at different attitudes to war, the use of nuclear weapons and the role religion plays in war and peacemaking. So the sorts of questions that we'll be thinking about for theme D is, you know, can we um, ever justify war? Theme E, crime and punishment. So we look at different attitudes towards criminality. We look at why people commit crimes, um, how people should be punished. And we look at the issue of um, capital punishment as a human rights issue. So we ask um, questions such as, should we punish criminals with the death penalty? And theme F, human rights and social justice, we look at uh, prejudice and discrimination and we will look at racism, gender inequality and uh, look at the causes and religious responses to poverty. So a typical question that we might um, be asking um, during our study of theme F um, would be, are the rich responsible for the poor? RS has been really popular with um, students who have studied it and um, I just wanted to share with you some of the things that students have said at the end of their course when they've thought about what they've gained through their study of religious studies. So one student says that they like how varied the uh, topics we study are. Uh, another one says that the general knowledge is developed through studying RS. Um, an interesting comment here, you get to see behind the scenes of different religions, and that's interesting. Another student says, I've become more open minded by studying RS. And finally, uh, another student says, you get a better understanding of world issues by learning about religion. So hopefully you can see there that there's plenty of benefits academically, but also um, in terms of your own uh, personal development by studying GCSE RS. So who can study RS? Well, just about anybody. Uh, if you're interested in the big questions, how did we get here? How do different groups of people believe we got here? Uh, if you enjoy questioning, and evaluating ideas and concepts, if you enjoy critiquing and discussing alternative views, and if you're interested in learning about other belief systems, if you're going to enter a global economy, a global society where different people have different beliefs, it's important that you know all about those beliefs so that you can make sure the relationships you're building are respectful and collaborative. When thinking about the future, RS is so useful um, when you are thinking about going into um, post 16 further study. GCSE in RS certainly links to A level in religious studies, but also um, other humanities and social science um, courses and going on to university um, because religious studies is an academic subject um, and there is an awful lot of uh, analytical writing in religious studies. It means that that helps equip you with the skills um, that you need for further study, for example, at university. But if you're thinking about it more in terms of the link to um, occupational areas, then RS really isn't limited because any job where you're going to work with other human beings 
RS is going to have helped to prepare you for working with, being um, collegiate with people from different religious or non-religious backgrounds. It helps to break down any barriers of communication and knowledge and understanding. So as you can see on the screen, um, there are a whole range of different types of jobs that RS will help you um, because of your deeper understanding of world issues, but also uh, a deeper understanding of the beliefs and practices of the people that inhabit our amazing world. So hopefully this video has helped you decide whether GCSE RS is for you. However, if you need any more information and get in touch with myself or Mrs Worthy on our email addresses or pop to come and see us. You can also have a look on the AQA GCSE RS website. We do specification A uh, and you can get information about the content and the exam on there. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch.